Alright, what's up YouTube? Exploding Window here, and welcome to some Madden 17 gameplay. Uh, this is the Seahawks versus the Jets. Of course, Seahawks are my home team, so I'm going to play them. This is no way, shape, or form to show who which team is better. I was just trying it out. The Jets are one of our regular season game opponents this year, so I thought I'd try it out. But uh, you see there Tyler Lockett returning the kick, trying to get the little juke move. I'm just trying to get a feel for all the new... Uh, the new buttons and the controls and everything. So we got Rawls in there, play action pass. We throw it up to Jermaine Curse and it gets picked off. Uh, so there's a lot to learn in this game. This is only my second game that I played. So you know we're gonna get try to get a feel for it and uh, see the new defensive and offensive mechanics, especially the the field goal blocking and the trick plays or the punt blocking. Um, I did have a really good punt block on one of the games that I didn't record, but. Um, once it comes out here in the next couple days, I'll try and record a bunch of stuff. I'm going to be doing a lot of Madden 17 because the football season's here again. I went to my second Seahawks game ever the other day because I was actually able to afford it. Last minute tickets, went to the Vikings versus Seahawks game. It was just amazing. You know, I've always been into football, so if you guys don't aren't down for that, whatever, just hit the dislike button. I don't care. But um, see there, I tried to go for the interception way behind the, uh, the, the tight end there. I'm not really familiar with a lot of the Jets players, you know, obviously Drew Reeves, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Brandon Marshall, we got Matt Forte that just was recently signed, they obviously have Eric Decker too. If Fitzpatrick really gets into it this year, their team can go pretty far. As Richard Sherman was creeping up on Eric Decker there and kind of makes him drop the ball, Richard's not a big guy, but he's, he is intimidating. You know, we got all our defensive starters out here, they did update the roster for the new draft rookies and everything. But of course, they're not starters, so uh, Jermaine Effetti and Jaron Reed, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure Jermaine is a starting uh, offensive lineman, so that's pretty cool. But Cam making the tackle there. So um, I'm just going to let the gameplay play out, and if I see anything crazy, I'll go ahead and commentate on it. But uh, other than that, <laughs> enjoy. All right, so fourth and one, we're going to try to go for the block here. And we don't get it. So the thing about the field goal and the, and the you know any block, you have to time the right trigger pull perfectly. When you're playing on All Pro and All Madden, that trigger show doesn't doesn't show up. See Doug Baldwin trying to get it past the 20 there. But yeah, sorry, something came up. Um, the trigger pull doesn't show up in All Pro and All Madden. So what you have to do is time it exactly right when you feel the vibration on the controller. If you play with no vibration, well, you just gotta play off your gut. So we see Russell giving it to Thomas Rawls here, juking left. Getting the first, oh, just kidding. Didn't get the first down. Good tackle by the linebacker there. Eight yards after contact. He'll be seeing a lot of Thomas Rawls this year after he gets a little bit more healthy. Playing a couple, um, I think he might play the last preseason game maybe just to try him out. I don't think he's going to play the Cowboys this Thursday, but uh, we'll see. Uh, the other new mechanic is fumbles are, oh, 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 <laughs> got Russell getting kicked in the face there. Um, the fumbles happen a lot at, more often now because of the new ball physics. So if the, if the quarterback is actually throwing the ball forward, it's going to be an incomplete pass. You see, you get the read option here, and Russell breaks a tackle, sort of, and gets the first down. But anyways, if the if the, the the quarterback throws the ball, attempts to throw the ball, anyways, and it doesn't have the forward progress momentum thing, you know, that physics do. Uh, then it's considered a fumble, obviously, like it should. Getting the drag route to Jimmy Graham here, breaking a tackle, and getting the first down. I can't wait to see this guy who bought his jersey. I've uh, been following Jimmy Graham since he blew up on the Saints, I should say. Because uh, Drew Brees used him as a receiver, basically only threw to Jimmy for about five, three years. So, And we got Doug Baldwin down the middle for a huge gain inside the 30-yard 30, 30 line. So we're here out of the second quarter now, flip position. So my seats were not on this side, but on the opposite side. So, I mean, we had pretty good end zone seats. Thomas Rawls trying to break a tackle, making a man miss, and he's in for the touchdown. So there we go. The rushing is it's a lot more of the same, but there's a lot of different mechanics just because of the momentum. And now the kicking is a lot different. Instead of moving the stick left or right to aim, you know, real smoothly you have to very slightly move the stick because if you move it like all the way left it literally goes all the way left so a little more realistic you actually get the little feel of the thumb you can be more accurate that way and uh, one kick or one press to set the power the other press to set the accuracy which I like better instead of just flicking it because a lot of us forgot to flick it forward and then the kick would go like 30 yards left and, and completely miss so Jets are taking it back on the uh, 25 yard line here 
So we'll see what Ryan Fitzpatrick can put together, if they can put another scoring drive together or not. See if the Legion of Boom steps up. The uh, front seven, I think the Seahawks are about fourth now in the league for front seven. So we'll see where that gets us this year. If you're a Seahawks fan, shout out to you guys. You know, put your comments in the in the bottom below. You know, if you're from another country and you're still rooting for the Seahawks, I appreciate you. But if you if you hate the Seahawks, you know, give it a dislike. If you hate the Seahawks, comment down below how much you hate them and why you hate them. Because I want to know. I'm not trying to start a wars, but I just really want to know why people hate the Seahawks. They're a great team. They've got a lot of talented players on here. A lot of guys committed to uh, staying here and not caring about money too much. They just want to play football and do the right thing. So. Last year we fell short of the Panthers in a uh, horrible loss, I would say. Great, great comeback effort, but <laughs> we just did not have it together that game. So, see I'm playing KJ right. Oh, I sniffed out the run, but I got blocked at the last second. That was a uh, good read by me, but not good timing by the... Uh, it was good timing, actually, by the blocker. But we forced fourth down, and uh, the Jets have forced a punt once one more time. I didn't set a punt block here, because I uh, just kind of forgot... So you can almost get on the outside edge there, but it doesn't really work too much. Tyler Lockett returning the punt. Cam Chancellor with the block. And we got one more guy to miss. We spin a little too early. So the juke moves aren't as drastic as they, they were in Madden 16 now. So that's a little different also. But you, you got to time everything perfectly now. I mean, this isn't only my second game, so I still didn't have the hang of everything yet. But, you know, I've played a couple games after that. Fucking my Madden trial actually ran out. Oh, Thomas Rawls with the button. See, okay, the button comes up <coughs> to win the tackle. So, that's, I guess, how you say it. You either press the button to break the tackle, or if you're on the defensive side, you press the button at the right time to make the tackle. So whoever presses that button first, you know, if you're going in an online game, wins that battle. And if you're just playing against a computer and you don't press the button soon enough, you're just going to lose. So, you know, simple, but pretty effective. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Madden 17 trial kind of ran out in the middle of one of my games, so I didn't wasn't able to record the whole thing. So I just said, "Fuck it, I'm not gonna put it on my channel." Uh, the I mean, this is still a work in progress. There's still I'm guessing a few updates to come before the game is fully ready. Uh, I'm sure they'll double tap the receiver icon to throw a medium touch pass. Well, I throw long touch passes. So fuck you. We're gonna hit Jermaine Curse here on the outside for a rack. And we get to the 45-yard line. It's a 21-yard reception. Obviously, I, I really like that feature that they kept, they put in Madden 16. You know, showing you how long that pass was, just so you're kind of keeping up on your drive and whatnot. And they've carried it over into Madden 16. Made the presentation a lot better. The presentation of this game is just a lot. Oh, Thomas Rawls breaking a tackle, and he's holding on to that bad ankle. Get out of there. I met Thomas Rawls at the uh, Snoqualmie Casino here in Washington a few weeks ago. He's a really nice guy, but um, I still wasn't ready to play. We're trying to hit Doug Baldwin here, the flat, or the post route, sorry. So I've been really good at, I've been trying to be really good at moving the thumbstick, the left thumbstick, right before I throw just to really aim the pass. And that's a tip for you guys. If you really try and aim the pass, see I kind of threw that away from the defender. Jimmy Graham breaking tackles and getting the first down there. 58 seconds to go, so I call a timeout here. Uh, it'll really help you, you know, kind of pinpoint where you want the ball thrown. If you want to throw it behind a defender, if he's, you know, if the safety's coming in, you want to throw it right at the receiver. You don't want to try and lead him, so the safety can either pick him off or make it incomplete. You can do that as well. You did that in Madden 16, but it's, I feel like it's a little more refined in Madden 17. So, throw a screen pass to Thomas Rawls. Kind of breaks a tackle. I don't know what that was, but he gets his second rushing touchdown of the day. That was actually a receiving touchdown, but. He gets his second touchdown of the day. Thomas Rawls is going off right now. So, uh, Steven Hauschka for the extra point. And, of course, it's going to be good because Hauschka is money. Except he missed a 49-yard field goal against the preseason game uh, against the Vikings at that preseason game I went to. But at least he didn't miss two field goals like Blair Walsh. All right, so Steven Hauschka kicking it off. 14-3, to 51 seconds in the half left. Going to see what the Jets can do, if they can go three and out again or if they can actually get in field goal range because I doubt they'll get a touchdown. But, hey. Anything can happen. It's Madden 17, so let's see. A little confusion there with their receivers. Matt Forte ran right into Eric Decker, so I don't know what they were doing. Richard Thurman. Richard Sherman thinks he uh, thinks he did that, but I don't think he did much there. It was just a bad play by the Jets. Uh, now, well, the one thing I really like about Madden 17, I think they tweaked the player shapes a lot better. So, oh shit. 
See, anything can happen. Brandon Marshall wide open. Earl Thomas comes in and makes the tackle. Brandon Brown are leading or uh, chasing him. Um, I think they really refined just kind of the shapes of certain players because a lot of the players didn't look like who they were. Like I remember uh, Russell Wilson was just a little too thin. I think they kind of beefed him up a little bit more because obviously Russell's gained a lot of muscle this year. Been working on his strength a lot. So Brandon Marshall's open, but Ryan Fitzpatrick gets hit as he throws and just throws it out of bounds there. Second down, 35 seconds left to go. They still got two timeouts, and so do I. The defense, see there at the top there? Defense is auto-flipped. So now your defensive line gets auto-flipped to the strength of the offense so that you're matched up perfectly. You can set that off if you really want to kind of do things your way, but in my opinion, that's a really cool new feature. It kind of helps everybody out with defense, especially if you're playing on, you know, rookie or pro and you're still new to the game. It really helps you out. But uh, I was in perfect coverage there with that last play on Cam Chancellor on the uh, corner route. So he uh, had to throw it to the guy on the left and uh, completely missed him. But, you know, that's uh, Fitzpatrick. Fitzmagic. And they get uh, Amaro <laughs> on the open with a first down. Cam Chancellor lays him out. 23 seconds left to go, so of course they call a timeout. And uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick is 50% on the day, 4 for 8. Let's see what else he can do. I think I'm calling a, yeah, I'm calling zone defense here, and we stop them. 18 seconds left. They're not going to call a timeout. They're going to try and spike it. Or no, they're actually going to go for it before the half. 10 seconds left. Can Ryan do it? Throw it to Matt Forte. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Richard Sherman and Bobby Wagner sandwich him, but it's not good enough. He gets in for the touchdown and makes it a four-point game with the extra point on the way. And it is good. So this is a four-point game with four seconds left. See how this plays out. So we get the ball back right now, and I think we kick off to the Jets at the half as well. So, if Tyler Lockheed can make some magic happen here, but no, it's not going to happen. He gets tackled at the 25-yard line. So, we go to the half. There's a new feature. You can skip the half now. The new feature. Oh, my God. You guys are going to love it. It's a new feature where you can just hold A to skip. Any cutscene, a timeout, an injury, anything. You know, you'd have to pause the game or call a timeout for that shit to stop. But now you can just hold A to skip it. This makes games go so much faster and smoother. And it's actually funny, the commentators, as you heard there, comment on, uh, okay, well, I guess we're not having a halftime show. Um, <clears throat> that's another thing I wanted to talk about, the commentators. They have new download updates, so, you know, every other week, if game something crazy in a game happens, they're just going to record new commentary and actually put it into the game. So uh, they were actually, I think, I don't know if it was this game or another game, they were actually talking about how the, uh, the Ravens stopped their game to watch Michael Phelps swim because he's a Baltimore native, or a Maryland native. And uh, so that was really cool seeing, you know, it's a current event type thing where they just really update the stats and everything. Uh, as Michael Bennett gets a sack there. Beautiful. I, they need to have more unique dances, like sack celebrations, because Michael Bennett doesn't do his hip his hip wiggle anymore. And of course, if Brandon Ebane, if you see him on the Chargers, I'm sure he's not going to do his belly roll. <clears throat> Some Fitzpatrick looking, looking, fires down the middle for Powell, and he gets tackled. Fourth down on coming. Came chance for Bobby Wagner there. there. Bobby Wagner <coughs> there to make the tackle. Excuse me. I'm trying to eat while I'm talking. So uh, here I finally found the uh, pup block. So we're going to try and do this with Earl Thomas. Again, you have to time this perfectly right when the right trigger pops up. And if you do, you got to swim the blocker. And I didn't do it correctly. So as a booming punt. Let's see what he can do with this one. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Yeah, you keep going, Tyler. Come on. Oh, it was a little too slow there. So we bring it out from the 30 yard, 3 to 3 yard line. Tyler looking a little shaken up there, but no big deal. We're going to go, uh, I think we're going to go for the PA post shot here. Yep. Play action post shot. This is one of my favorite plays just because it, 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 it really opens up the wide receivers. Like Bug, Doug Baldwin there. Bug Daldwin. I'm really slurring my words here. Uh, Doug Baldwin wide open for 22 yards. So, I mean, I, I use that play all the time. What is that dance? Doug Baldwin does not dance like that. I use that play all the time in Madden 16, and uh, it works. So there's another just new uh, feature there. It shows you the weak zones of the defense. Thomas Ross breaks a tackle and gets tackled again. So it shows you the weak zones of the uh, defensive front there. So you can either flip your run play or just kind of work your play around that area if you see that happening. If they switch the defense, it'll show you the, the weak zone on the other side too. So 
That's really kind of cool also. I'm pretty sure that's only on pro or uh, rookie. Jimmy Graham makes a reception. Jimmy Graham's new outfit with the sleeve there, that makes him look so much better. Kind of looks uh, better than Gronk, actually. Actually, he doesn't kind of look better. He looks better than Gronk. Jimmy Graham should have been cover athlete. Rest in peace, your kneecap. Just kidding, he's doing good. He's not going to be ready for the first. Oh, as Thomas Rawls breaks free and gets his second rushing touchdown of the day. Third total of the day. Thomas Rawls, again, is going off. I'm going to title this video, Thomas Rawls is going off. Uh, this is a good start to that to bring him back from that uh, ankle injury. People say he's uh, he broke his ankle or he sprained his ankle or something weird. So I don't actually fully know. I heard break. Steven Hauschka kicks it off. It is 21 to 10 in the third quarter with a minute 21 left to go, which is technically like six, five or six minutes real time in a real football game because these are, I believe, four minute quarters. Uh, so we'll see what Ryan Fitzpatrick can put together. Again, they did score on the last drive with uh, a pass to Matt Forte. I'm be playing the linebacker here. I'm going to try and blitz here. And I get stuffed. And Ryan Fitzpatrick just does not know where he's throwing to. Oh, jeez. Earl Thomas got pushed. That's that's a foul. Somebody throw a flag, please. That's another thing I wish. I wish refs would actually throw physical flags. It'd be kind of funny. And then the camera would zoom in on it like they always do. Ryan Fitzpatrick throwing to Eric Decker. That was a dangerous pass as KJ Wright was looking down there to... Scoop up the pick six. Brandon Brown are there to make the tackle with along along with KJ Wright. See, look again. Defense is auto flip because the strength of the offense is technically on the left since there is three blockers on the left of the center there. And we get the sack with Brandon Brown and it's a fumble. And Ataba Rubin scoops it up from the bottom of the pile, the small pile there. So we get the ball back at the 24 yard line. This is a very good field position start for us. I think we're going to try and throw the, uh, the drag route across this field to Tyler Lockett. We are, and we get slapped away. That was a bad read by me. I should have waited a little bit. I thought I was getting pressure from my left, so I hurried the ball. Not a good decision, but uh, I think we're going to go for the slant stay play right here. Because I love this play. Yes, we are. So uh, I'm probably going to get it to Jimmy Graham or Tyler Lockett here. Jimmy Graham, breaking a tackle. Get off me, he says. <laughs> Mr. 6'7", 200 and some odd pounds, I'm going to say over 250. Jim Graham has reached 50 yards on the day. One of my top receivers when I play Madden 17 just because he is so tall. And then I'm going to try and get him the ball here for the touchdown. And we don't get it. I mean, usually you could just throw it up and he'll catch it because he's 6'7". But oh well. We're going to try and get him the ball one more time. So let's see here if we can get this here. Throw it up for Jimmy Graham, and it's incomplete. Jarrell Revis smacked that shit away. Of course, you don't want to throw a Revis Island. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure this out here. All right, bench swap. Here we go. I'm feeling a Jimmy Graham touchdown right now. Oh, let me change it to four verts. I'm feeling this. Linebacker's not going to pick up Jimmy Graham. And down the middle for the touchdown. There we go. Jermaine Fetty celebrating there. Jimmy Graham, Doug Baldwin, jumping up and down, celebrating. Uh, with the extra point to come, it'll be 28-10. to 10, But I thought I'd try out something different. Uh, we're going to try the fake P-A-T-K flip pass. Sorry, the uh, game clip ended in cut. So, we're going to flip it to Steven Hauschka. Steven is going to got Jimmy Graham open. He's going to throw it. And then blah, 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 blah. Ball was knocked incomplete. That would have been a cool two-point conversion, but hey, it's 10 to 27. I don't really have nothing to worry about. Third quarter, pretty sure Jets aren't going to strive to make a 17-point comeback to tie the game. But let's see what they can do. Return this kick from the zero-yard line at the end zone. And he gets immediately tackled by Steven Terrell. Good job there. So you see we Nick Vanette and Kenny Lawler, a couple of new rookies there. Kenny Lawler's hair is a little too long. But they figured he has long hair. Why not just put it in there? They can't really do the frizzy afro that Kenny Lawler has. Got our defensive front here ready to stop the run, and we do it with a couple yard gain, but uh, slowing this game down, not allowing the Jets to make much progress here. <clears throat> so again, this is on pro, not all pro, not all Madden, not rookie, it is on pro. Just because I did want to show off the button uh, capabilities, you know, the, the pop-up and everything to show you that you can do, because it doesn't show up on all pro or all Madden. It shows up on all pro, but not all of it shows up. So I wanted to, to kind of signify that. Jordan Hill controlling him there. Breaking through the line and making the tackle for a loss of two or four. I can't remember. 
I didn't know if it was second down to 10 or whatever. I just didn't look too well. That looked like a loss of four. <laughs> I'll just say that. So we're going to go run uh, Cover Man 2, I believe. I can't remember which play I picked. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Got four receivers. He's going to throw it to Tompkins. And they don't get the first down, so it's going to bring a fourth down. But I suggest they're going to go for it. I feel like they're going to go for it. Are they going to go for it with three minutes left to go? That's like ten minutes left to go in a real game. Let's see here. Will they go for it on fourth and three? No, they will not because the Jets aren't stupid. So uh, we're going to straight rush block, try to block this one with Earl Thomas one more time. And... Oh, oh, little jumpy there, Earl. Come on, come on. Nope, didn't get it. We're going to try and return the punt with Tyler Lockett. See if we can get any uh, magic out of here, and no, we don't. We take it out to the 24-yard line, and we start our drive once again inside the 30-yard line. Tom Strawls and Russell Wilson running out there. They say chew the clock, and we're going to run a couple more, uh, a couple more run plays just to get Tom Strawls. We're trying to get him to 100 yards today. I feel like that's a good, good goal. Up. Oh. No, there was a hole, but it closed. So he's got 66 yards and two touchdowns on the day with eight touches. That's pretty good. Pretty damn good for eight carries, 66 yards. That's not bad. It's about, I'm not going to do math. We're going to try and throw Jimmy Graham on the uh, fly route here. Russell Wilson getting touched as he throws, and it's incomplete because Jarrell Ravis was in the vicinity, of course. Jarrell's not a big guy, but he can sure make a play on the big guys. Give him credit there. Where credit is due. I'm a football fan, not just a Seahawks fan. I like everybody. Except the Patriots. <laughs> and we're going to throw the out route to Doug Baldwin. Try and make the possession catch, but he doesn't get it in bounds. So that brings up fourth down. And we're just going to play around with it. I'm pretty sure I go for it here. Because I like, I never punt. So we're going to try and do the uh, fake. Are we going to go for four vert? Yeah, we're going to go four vert. See if we can convert on fourth down. See if I can try and get it to Jimmy Graham, but I see that linebacker in the middle. I'm probably not going to, but we uh, float it to Tyler Lockett, and it's incomplete turnover on downs here. So uh, the Jets get it on their own 25-yard line, or sorry, our 25-yard line, and um, they got pretty good, pretty good field position here to start. See if they can put something together, see if that comeback is real. Eric Decker gets it, jumps over a man for a first down inside the 12 the 15 yard line i should say it's not inside the 12 he's on the 12. i'm working on my commentating skills guys i ain't no football commentator i ain't no cookie boy 17. i ain't no clutch i ain't no toke all right i'll get there chill out got under 500 subscribers i can be as shitty as i want it's magic in the huddle there trying to figure out what they're gonna do with two minutes left free timeouts per team see what happens on this drive I really think the Jets can pull something off this year just because of the, uh, the talent they have. What a diving grab by whoever that is. I still don't know all the receivers on the Jets. Ryan Fitzpatrick calling the hurry-up offense, see if they can get in the end zone here. Probably going to throw a pass here. Yep, they are. Matt Forte is wide open, but he, Ryan Fitzpatrick gets hit, and he overthrows Matt Forte because he was being rushed. Good pressure by my defense, forcing second down with a minute 40 left to go. I don't think Jets will pull this off. Sorry, but Jets are not a comeback team. I mean, they can make some magic happen, but 17 points in a minute and 40 seconds with three timeouts. It's possible, but you got to get a perfect onside kick or a perfect three and out. That looked like a run play, and Cam Chancellor swats that away from Eric Decker. What a beautiful play by Cam Chancellor. Six foot three, six foot two. I forget how tall that motherfucker is, but he's big. Good play. Cam sometimes can play a corner. He's just not that fast. But if you put him on an outside, you know, on a short route like that, Cam can do work. Third and goal on the one-yard line. What are they going to do here? I try and rush his Bobby Wagner, Cliff Averill. Oh, and we almost pick it off with Cam Chancellor forcing fourth down. That was an amazing play. We almost tipped it off to one of our guys in the end zone. We got a touchback and ended the game basically right there. Pete Carroll looking very desperately on the, on the sideline. They're going for it on fourth down. Earl Thomas is going to try and squeeze in. Here, get the stop, but it's a play-action pass, and Ryan Fitzpatrick gets sacked, and they turn it over on downs. Jeremy Lane with the sack, with the game saver, possibly on the eight-yard line, and we're just going to chew the clock. I, I think I might want to score again, but we'll see what happens here. And we're going to throw this out route to uh, Brandon Williams here. See how uh, well we do there. Woo. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Russell didn't find anybody. Throw, but he throws to Brandon Williams and he catches it. Oh, but he, but it's incomplete because he couldn't hold on. That's why he's a backup tight end. That's why you don't put him in there. Get out of here, Brandon Williams. Okay. I think we're going to try that play again. Or we're going to run it. I forget which one. This was like a day old, so I don't remember which one we did. Oh, what do we do here? I also run a play with Thomas Rawls. And not much gain there. A couple yards. Three yards. Nine rushes, 69 yards, two touchdowns. See if we can get him another touchdown. Hopefully. Jamie Graham's got one touchdown. Thomas Rawls got two. See how we can do. Thomas Rawls technically has three, but you know what I mean. Christine Michael not getting much on the... Getting maybe oh it's a loss of one yard. We're gonna go play action. All go here. Try and do something on fourth down. See what we can get with 46 seconds left to go. Chewing the clock as much as we can. But I'm eager to throw the pass. I know if I chew the clock enough, I can have enough room. 17 points. You know to not really do much so I snap it here Jimmy Graham looks open but I don't want to throw it because I know the safety so Russell Wilson is gonna run it past the first down obviously he's got the first down he's gonna not fumble now and he slides while he's getting hit good rush by Russell Wilson he's got two rushes of 28 yards I don't remember the first rush but uh, that was about a 20 yard gain there 13 seconds left 10 seconds left 8 7 6 5 and we're just gonna let the clock run out Seahawks win 10 to 27 hope you guys enjoyed that game Russell Wilson was not as perfect as he could have been, as he was, you know, at the end of last season. But I'm still learning. This uh, this game is is looking to be pretty promising. Russell Wilson doesn't do that either, so get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> Russell Wilson is not an arrogant man. So Russell Wilson's 52% completion, 167 yards with two touchdowns, and uh, fits magic with one touchdown and a few hundred, couple hundred yards, not even. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.